Hello and how are you all today? My name is Priyanka. The question says why true or false? And we need to give reasons for our answer also. The first statement says line segment joining the center to any point on the circle is the radius of the circle. Let's see. Now this is the center and let's say this is a point on the circle. Now the line joining the center to any point becomes the radius of the circle. Yes, this is a true statement. Proceeding on further to the second part. A circle has only finite number of equal chords. Finite means you can count the number of chords that can be made in a circle. It will be possible to an extent but as you go on making the chords, there can be endless number of chords that can be made in a circle. So this says that this is a false statement. That's why. The third part, if a circle is divided into three equal arcs, which each is a major arc. So let us, now let us divide the circle into three equal parts. Let's say A, B, C. AB is a arc BC and CA. But if you observe, each is not a major arc, each is a minor arc. So, therefore, this is a false statement. Fifth statement, fourth statement says a chord of a circle which is twice as long as the radius is the diameter of the chord. of a circle. We know that this is the radius. Now if you add the same radius to the other side also this will become the diameter. So that is why this is a true statement. Further, the sector is the region between the chord and its corresponding arc and that is a true statement because it is the center and this is an arc and the region between it is is called the sector but it is not between the chord it is between the radius and the arc so it will be a false statement and fifth sixth statement says the circle is a plane figure which has no reason to it and this is a true statement so this completes the session. Hope you enjoyed and take care.